A Colorado congresswoman is taking the lead on national gun legislation. Diana DeGette wants a nationwide ban on high-capacity gun magazines similar to a law already in place here in Colorado. Arshan Chitten has talked with a local victim of gun violence about why she thinks it's needed. I heard gunfire, which we didn't know was gunfire. A new voice from the shooting that changed how many look at gun violence across America. A graduate of Columbine High School who was a substitute teacher the day of that shooting in 1999. I ended up being barricaded in that office with, I think, six or seven other teachers and a couple students for about four hours before a SWAT team came and escorted us out. She's speaking out for the first time now because she says the threat they faced that day has only gotten worse in the years that followed. I don't want to just be a bystander. Um, I think we all have to get involved in making changes. She joined other supporters of gun control at Congresswoman Diana DeGette's Denver office, promoting a bill that would ban high-capacity magazines nationwide. We cannot sit idly by while people in our country are being impacted by gun violence and targeted through hate crimes. She hopes the bill will help prevent other families from feeling the pain that she's been dealing with for decades. How long will it take before everyone has some personal direct connection to gun violence before we're willing to be courageous and make changes? And the congresswoman told us here today at her office that she believes they must move forward with this bill, even if they can't make any progress in the Senate. And she also told us that as a Democrat, she does believe she can get some Republicans to get behind this legislation. But one challenge they're already facing, both supporters and opponents on this specific type of ban already disagree on the data and whether it can actually have an impact. Live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. Thank you, Sean. And the Rocky Mountain Gun Owners Association says DeGette's federal ban would have the exact same effect on crime and mass shootings as Colorado's ban. Zero effect, no effect. They go on to say, why should average law-abiding citizens be denied the same tools for self-defense as security personnel, personnel or law enforcement?